Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I have brought Erin in the house today. I'm back. <laughs> she is back with us. We're gonna be trying out products that TikTok made us buy. You know you love these. I love these videos. They're um, my favorite videos that we found. Literally. All the stuff that I have for us to try out is stuff that I've never seen in my life until like I ran across it on TikTok. Like these are random items. They're weird items. items. Some They're are weird. Beauty, some are gadgets. They're just like all over the place. We even have a mop. A Girl, mop. We're gonna be cleaning. <laughs> it looks fun. I love cleaning floors, so I really do. So I figured this could be a great opportunity. So we're gonna be trying all that out today. Also, shout out to Scentbird for partnering with me for a portion of today's video. We're going to be jumping into that in just a second. But with that being said, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. And hit the like button if you enjoy this video. And we need to get into trying out these products. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So if you guys don't know what Scentbird is, it is a fragrance subscription brand. And they have over 600 brands that you guys can check out on their site. My favorite thing about Scentbird is they're so flexible. If you want to skip a month, you totally can without any penalties. Scentbird lets you try a new designer fragrance every month for just $16. You'll get a 30 day supply. They come in these cute bottles. They're different colors. And I you just these. roll them up. Are they cute? They're so cute. So I got a bunch of different ones. I can't wait to smell them. They also come in these cases that look like this. So if you want to travel with them and pop them in your purse, you can throw them in the bag. It's really cute. One thing I like is they give you cards with all the notes on the fragrances that I you I was get. actually just reading these. Were you? Yeah. Okay. So one that I pick, it's just one that I wanted to smell yet again. I had this one years and years ago, the CK1. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, smell this one. Dang, that's kind of like so this one. I really like this one. I'm not 100% how to pronounce this one. I'll put it up on the screen, but oh my God, it smells so good. It even tells you the notes in it. This one's really spicy and warm. I love this one. The CK one's really clean. Then we got a, a citrusy one. Again, I'll put the brand right here. This one's super citrusy. I can't wait to try it out. Oh, this one's really fresh. The CK1 that you were just talking about. Oh yeah, it's so fresh. Then I got Rain by Commodity. I've never tried this brand. I just wanted to try out a new brand. It smells so good. It's very Ooh, clean, like very beautiful, fresh. I'm obsessed. I'm also obsessed with fragrances, if you guys haven't realized. Like, I love them. She sure does. If you guys want to, you can also upgrade to get two to three new fragrances Ooh. a month. It depends on just what you want. You can customize it. And you can discover new fragrances by taking their quiz. I discovered, like I said, Rain. I wanted to try. I also find that this is a really good way to try designer fragrances because they can be really pricey. These last me way longer than a month, but I find this a great way to try new fragrances without having to buy the whole expensive bottle. For next time, I'm gonna get the DKNY apple one, the green apple. Have you smelled that before? I haven't. I used to wear it all the time. They have it on their site, so I really, really, really want it. So next time I'm gonna be getting that. So if you guys are interested in checking out Scentbird, please do click my link below and use my discount code. I'll put it right here on the screen. For you guys to get 30% off, that is just 11 bucks for your first months of Scentbird. So our first TikTok item is a mini vacuum cleaner. I am really excited about this. When Laura showed me the TikTok, I was oh, yeah. like, Oh yeah. Handheld table vacuum. So guys, what? as you can see, like, is this too good to be true? It just looks so cute. It's so cute and it's so simple. So that way you don't have to wipe it into a paper towel or onto the ground where you then have to vacuum. I just thought this would be good in the kitchen. Yeah. On the counters maybe. I don't Girl, know. Girl, we don't have to sweep or vacuum afterwards. Okay, we got a <laughs> white one. I got them off Amazon, by the way. I'll link the stuff. It's so cute. So you just have to put a battery in it, which it does take a, I'm assuming a double A. And then you just pop it open and throw the stuff in the trash. So we're gonna head to the kitchen and try it out. Actually, it takes two AA batteries. Just two. Two, two just a two. heads up. So we'll head over and test it out. We're gonna sprinkle some salt, salt on the counter <laughs> for our mini vacuum. So Ty is adding batteries. Tyler. You pop this big part off and you just add the two AA batteries. And then it gives you instructions, which I love picture instructions so I don't have to read. Pop it together. Okay, now yeah. this all fell it's apart ready. whenever I opened it, so I'm not really sure. I think it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. Okay, Erin, you wanna put some salt down? All right, guys, all right. watch me. I feel like we need, okay, yeah, you can definitely see that. I turned it on and nothing happened, Ty. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Can we say? Mm, we are, we're having some technical difficulties. We are. Difficulties. I mean, I put the batteries in there correctly. I don't know. Oh, did he? Are they dead batteries? I don't think so. They could very well they be were in dead a brand batteries. New pack. Aaron, are they dead batteries? Probably dead <laughs> batteries. Oh. So I had the battery in backwards. Oh! <laughs> I'm so excited. Off. Reconstructing it. All right. Okay, we yeah, have. Sister. I'm gonna spread this mess out. Let's say some jerk just walks up to your office desk and throws salt at you. <laughs> okay. No worries. No worries. I, I thought it moved itself like a ring off. Does it? I, I mean, it's think it, kind no. of moving. I think. <laughs> I think you're supposed to do it. Listen to that crunch. Oh yeah. Okay, that's so satisfying. Okay, it's actually doing a great job. It block. actually did an amazing. Oh my job. god. Actually clean. Oh my God. I just want to say the counter has some salt on it, but it got most of it. Yeah, I feel like if you check it, we'll be able to see this a lot better. Yeah, let's okay, try this out. Just, All right. Is that enough? Yeah, that's good. All right. All right, Aaron, give it a go. Oh, this smells so good. It does. Whoa. <gasps> wow. Look at our little little yeah. table back here. I can see this on like an office desk somewhere. Right? That's about it though. Where else we should put it? I don't know. No, I'm doing this after every meal. Wait, let's see what it looks like True. on the inside. What if you eat lunch at your office Hold up. desk? Hold up. Inside <gasps> inspection. What wow. the heck? And then you just dump it. And then you just get it right back on the table and clean and it then, again. Well, you would open it over a trash can, I guess. <laughs> and then you just keep doing it until you get all your... You're Guys, busy. I actually really love this. Is it Eight out of ten. Let me try it. Nine out of ten. Let me put a little. Ten out of ten, ten. guys. Oh, <laughs> so wow. Yeah, this is. What if it was like a rainbow went by itself, like you said? That'd be even cool. I would cost me a lot more. This is dirt cheap on I would Amazon. Give it a twenty out of twenty if it did that. Yeah, but you know, it costs like. So cheap. Dollar. This is Getting fun. Get out of my beard. Okay, guys, what do we rate it? Aaron, oh, 10, 10 out of 10. 10? I'm 10 out of 10 then. I would give it 10 out of 10. Wow. And then you just dump it over the trash. Ta-da. How handy. Yes. Very cool. Okay, our next item to try out I'm is. I'm so excited. This one is like really hard to come by. I had to get it off eBay. Some people found it at Ulta Beauty, but I found mine on eBay and it is jelly soap. It is a ball of straight up jelly. Finally found it at Ulta Beauty now. Let's try it out. It jiggles. Oh my God, it's so slimy. Definitely feels like jello. Do you guys see this? And you can use it as like a hand soap. It's so This cool. is so weird. I've never heard of anything oh, like this. It literally says Ulta Beauty on it right um, there. Rose so. all day. Rose all day jelly soap from Ulta. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells so good. Oh Vera, my gosh. I'm gonna be using this. I'm gonna feel it. Ooh. <laughs> You guys, look at this. Oh, oh. Hey, Laura. Oh my God. Not in soap. This is our Oh, soap. it smells so good. Okay, so we're gonna put this uh. underwater and wash our hands and just like see the tea. I also like that it comes in this container. Me too. So when you're done with it, you can just put your soap away. Honestly, on the go as well. Oh yeah, that could be on the go soap. I like that. All right. We're gonna go try that out now. <laughs> Let's try out the soap though. All right, guys, we're gonna try out the jelly soap. So first, I think you have to wet your hands hands and get it a little bit wet. Just so you massage. use it like a soap bar? Yeah, massage yeah, it within your jelly. <gasps> Look. Oh, I Try love it. Smell it. How good it smells. Oh, it smells so smell good. good. This is my favorite soap ever. <laughs> I will say this is like the most fun soap I've ever used. And look, it comes with a container. You can just put it. That's in. the only soap yeah. I'm going to be using for now And look on. how sudsy. Let's see. Yeah. It's not bad. That's the only stuff I'm using for now. On. It smells like a fragrance that's still before. Right? I will say it's a little kitty. Hey! It's a little kitty. Hey, don't be a hater! This is so fun. He's a hater. <laughs> this smells great. This is fun. It smells good. Yeah, I love it. Oh my god. Wait, Erin, mm -hmm. what do you write, write the soap? 10 out of 10. It's fun, it smells really good, it works good. My hands feel nice and clean, no stickiness. This is where smelling. I think they really thought it out is by giving you a container to put it back in. Cause you know some stuff they'll put it like in a cheap cardboard box and like wrap it in plastic. And, and then, then you're, you're like, what, are you, what do I do with this after? 
And so you seal it so it doesn't dry out. So, Laura, um, would you set this out for your guests to use? Why not? No way. <laughs> Why not? I thought it was okay. 10 out of 10. Okay, maybe it is. It's a great conversation starter, but if you're in my house already, I probably don't need to force a conversation with you. <laughs> so, other than that. No, I'm, I'm keeping this out. All the guests are using this. Rose all day. Rose all day. You know it's going to go in Aaron's bathroom. It definitely is. I'm so And she's it. never going to use it. That's not true. <laughs> Not true. Okay, this next one seemed a little pointless, but then again, if you're me and like my lifestyle, like I do my makeup, like to listen to music, like to watch TikToks or like YouTube videos. So this seemed very practical for that. First is this phone stand and 100% yes, this is a staple in my daily routine. You can charge your phone on the stand and you can also adjust it upwards or downwards just depending on what you like. It's a phone holder stand. I'm gonna open that up. I will open this up. Oh, you got it in pink. That's kind of cute. It's so cute. It's supposed to charge your phone, but how does it charge it? Oh, no, 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 no. It says it's easy for you to charge your phone. You just uh, do this. Oh, Aaron, see, Aaron listens to the fine lines. Oh my gosh. So Look. it's as simple as this. It honestly, it's so simple. It was pretty cheap, but I just, and you can, oh, can, you can't move it. No, so it's just no. stiff. Oh, no. never mind. <laughs> we thought you could move it, but. <laughs> It is pretty nice. I mean, it's pretty nice. It's cute. I'm going to keep it right here on my beauty desk. Because just... honestly, you could like film, you could watch, you know, maybe you're on FaceTime. Exactly. Making a TikTok. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is that a dance? I, you should know that, not me. You're I, the teenager. I, I definitely don't know. She does now. I don't know. She knows. This is really cute though. Like that if you're, cute. if this would be practical in your life, even setting it by your bed and then plugging your little charger in. That's nice. It's nice. Play music. It's really cute. So I would recommend this. There's not much more to try out with this product. Kind there's of, not much you can do There's not it. a lot. It's, it's convenient. It's very convenient. And I feel like um, it has little grippies on the bottom, which oh, is that's nice. nice. So yeah. Won't be going nowhere. It also has grippies for your phone, but I don't know. I just feel like, like I needed this. When I saw it, I was like, it's, uh, it just looks like convenience to me. I swear. So. It is convenient though. Yes. So if you guys are interested in it, I bought it off Amazon and of course I'll link it down below for you. Little phone stand. I bought it in pink. It comes in a bunch of different colors. That is nice. It was cute. Okay. Like the next item is random and weird. So this is a 10,000 bristle toothbrush. I've seen this 10,000 bristle toothbrush all over TikTok and I wanted to try it. While it is aesthetically pleasing and super soft, I don't think it did anything better than a regular toothbrush. And Why do I need this many bristles? Grab them teeth. But I bought two so we could each try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm excited to it try it. It looks kind of fake. Like it looks like the brushes are silicone. There's that many. Because there's so many bristles. I'll get a close up in this when we're trying it out so you guys can see. Oh. It doesn't feel like a regular toothbrush. It's kind of nice. I kind of like it. You I'm haven't tried it. tried it. I I like the shape. I like how clean it looks. The it, bristles are kind of cool. It feels but different. Like, it looks like silicone. Like that's how many bristles there are. Also, the girl on the TikTok did not like it. She said it's a no-go for her. My teeth did not feel clean after using this thing. Is it too soft? I feel like it'd be too soft. Maybe, but that's why I wanted to try it out. It almost intrigued me a little more whenever she said she didn't like it. Because I was so like, wait, what if I do like it? So we're going to brush our teeth and try it out and kind of give you a rundown these are on Amazon they're pretty cheap you get a pack of two they're just 10,000 bristle toothbrushes are they necessary so random so random imagine like oh yeah I can only brush my teeth with the 10,000 bristle, bristle toothbrush. toothbrush but also if you guys are interested in like trying out something new or something just I mean definitely go for it why not just type on I'm excited to try this yeah yeah, I'm excited to try it. But you can just type in TikTok, maybe buy it, and you'll literally end up in a world of products you never knew existed that you might need in your life. That's what I do at least. Okay, guys, we're in Aaron's bathroom. It's time to trust out, trust out, test out this toothbrush. Here's your close up, I promised you. See, it looks kind of different, huh? A little bit of toothpaste. All right, let me, let me wet my, all right. You wanna squirt me some toothpaste? Cause I'm filming with <laughs> one, one hand. hand. A little bit of toothpaste. Perfect, okay. Here goes nothing. Uh, it is so weird. Uh, I don't think I like it. It feels like I'm brushing my teeth with a feather. It doesn't feel like our teeth are getting. I like a hard toothbrush. When I tell you, it feels like you're taking a piece of cloth 
I'm brushing her teeth. I'm getting lipstick everywhere. Rather than actual toothbrush. I don't know if I like it. It feels like there's no scrubbing happening. Uh-uh. I feel like my teeth aren't getting clean here. Definitely feels like my teeth are not clean. Mm-mm. I actually hate it. I don't like it. Oh, it feels slimy now. Yeah, it feels slimy. Erin is still brushing her teeth. It feels like it turns into like a slimy feeling. You know how toothbrushes feel kind of bristly, like uh -huh. you're scrubbing your teeth a little bit? It doesn't bit? feel like that. It feels like a silicone thing going across Like my a teeth. rubbery, really weird, I don't know. I hated it. I will never use that again. I don't feel clean. And I was brushing my tongue as well. And it doesn't feel clean. Mm -hmm. What do you rate it? Uh, two out of 10. One out of 10. Don't waste your money. Don't do it. So for our next item, we're gonna create a bucket of ice. So this seems a little unnecessary. Why? What if you don't have an ice maker? Oh, it's a ice silicone ice bucket. So you like make the oh, oh. round ice and you put water not in this part, but like I don't know. I'll have to watch the video again. Wait, 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 you wait. fill the sides with because water. there's little holes right here, as you can see, and I think you just fill it up and it just fills it all in and then you pop them in. Oh, Okay, never mind. I was a hater. I kind of take it back. Let's see how it works because this kind of does seem cool. Imagine just put individual beer in here. Hold on, it says pure water. It says pure water in the cup. I think it means pour water in the cup. No, pure water because you might be chewing on it. Oh, okay. Put the pure water in the cup. Put the liner. Okay, so you fill it and then you put the liner in, which then squeezes the water out, which seems way easier. Put it in the freezer, let it freeze, and then take the plastic out, squeeze the cup, and you get 40 pieces of ice. Oh, that's pretty nice. All right, we're gonna see if this works. This one's gonna take us a little bit longer to test out, but we're gonna try it out right now. Okay, now we are gonna fill up our ice thing. I rewatched the TikTok. You actually do have to like sit. And like I thought. You were right. Like just. Oh, okay. This is purified. I guess it doesn't really matter if some water splashes into this part because it'll freeze as well. Yeah, it'll freeze. Oh, I was pouring. I would try not to get water in this part though. Yeah. How do we know when it's full? Is it just like. Sure. Oh, can we tell? How do you know? Can anyone see? You can't see. You just have to keep going and maybe if we shine a light up to it. I feel like this is um gonna be a lot more time consuming what than a, a regular ice tray. It is. It's an ice tray? Yeah. Yeah, essentially. Why was I zoomed all the way in? I was Mara! Like, I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is supposed to be all the way down, Aaron. <gasps> Why was it lifted? Yeah! Oh, okay. It's well, that was the easier. Wait, it kind of lifted again, huh? Wait, why'd you pour all the Wait, water out? You look, you can look inside. Out. You poured all the water out. Aaron, what's going on? Aaron, hold this down. All the way down. There you go. There you go. And then we'll put the lid on it. Where's the lid? Right there. Hold it down. Hold down the plastic. Well, I was trying to see if it was filled. This is causing family arguments. It's filled. Okay. Now, we'll put the lid on because the metal piece wants to shoot up, which is very annoying. Isn't it, though? It's because Does it it's screw? Failed. I don't know. Let's just put this bad boy in the fridge. This would go in the refrigerator. <gasps> it's literally the pushing the lid off. What in, in the, the heck? It's because Wait, no, no, you're supposed to have water in here, right? No, Hold no, that no. Way down. Okay, now do it. I think I pushed out. Now put the lid on. Does the lid snap, maybe? Yeah, no, snap the lid on, no fingers pinched. Look, it just comes right back up. This is terrible. No, it's good, it's good. Okay, okay it's, now it's no, good. No, it's coming up. No, it's not. Yeah, it's literally up. Wait, no, it's staying it's up on, inside. we're good. Oh my God, Look, you guys, keeps, we're gonna get a divorce <laughs> over our I'm ice tray. You. This is awful. No, it wasn't coming up. There's like no water in it. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It's full. Sure it's full of water. All right. Just put it in the freezer for the love of God. This is not going to work. I hate this thing already. There are so many easier ways to get ice, like going to 7-Eleven and paying a dollar for a bag. Yeah. Wow. Not worth it. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to see, though. We're going to see. All right. So it is the next morning. I don't know why we waited till the next morning. We could have just waited a few hours, but it is the next morning. It's frozen. I'm thinking it's a flop. What are you thinking? I'm thinking it's flop a rosy. Maybe not. Trying to get the cup out. 
Yeah, it says to take the silicone. Oh, I like give it a, oh, there it goes. Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. All right, you ready? You filming? I'm ready, I'm Can ready. you see? Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. It didn't really stop, actually. Okay, but. <laughs> but like, that's but like, not, that's like all the ice you So put. what they put in the picture, they show you putting a drink in, oh, in the picture. Oh, wow. That was a lot of work to cool down one drink. <laughs> kinda, because it doesn't even fill it up all the way. So it kinda closes it. Maybe you put there the drink in it first and then crush it. I don't know. But definitely not worth it. I'm sorry. You I'm would just... have to do that at least maybe two to three times. Because of the amount of ice. This is just a gimmick and so I don't when... actually recommend. So I guess when you finish, you just do this. And then you fill it back up with water and you go again. Oh my God. And then you just pour it all this back is, in here. This is way too much work. Your Dr. Pepper. It's gotta be a Dr. Pepper, people. Or it doesn't work. This is so stupid. <laughs> All right, now you put this whole thing in the freezer. <laughs> okay, review. There you have it. Ty, I'm what do you think? I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. I'm giving it a one out of 10. Whoa. It is silly. Okay, so this one was- What's so special about this? Let me explain before you open, ma'am. What is so special about this? Oh my God. A perfumed bracelet. Open the top and there's string in there. Oh my God. And you pull that out and you just, oh. And I think you make two knots at the end and that goes in the little thing here. Oh my God, I got it on. It smells amazing. Let me just tell you, this was very expensive. Okay, this is not cheap. And this is a fragrance bracelet. And we're gonna try it out. So I just don't like know how practical this is. I do prefer to spray my perfumes on my clothes. Yeah. But this was like a super bougie brand. I bought it at Nordstrom. They have a bunch of different scents in it. However, because I bought it online, didn't see it in store. I was like, what do they smell like? I don't know. But smelling the box, it seems like it smells pretty good. So let me explain. Okay, this is nice. Don't you have something in this brand? Yeah, I have a few of their products. So that's what it looks like. And this is what you do. You lift the top and then this rope, which actually isn't that cute. It's a black and white rope. I wish like the rope was cuter to like wear out, but the rope smells like fragrance, which it does smell really good. What do you think? I like the fragrance. It's not something I would typically wear. So you pull out as much rope, you cut it off. This is kind of cool, but it's kind of gimmicky. It's also very weird. I'm someone who just likes to spray it on as well. Same. Just my neck and my wrist. My you, I'm done. this is not cheap. This is like not a saving money method. This is actually really expensive. And it's probably gonna cost you more than just buying a fragrance. <laughs> just get simpered. Gosh, it smells really good. Do you like it? And then you just wear that on your wrist. My only thing is it kind of looks like a hair tie on your wrist. Yeah. Here's what it comes in, like this plastic packaging here. I'm trying to get the focus on. You can see it. And yeah, let me put the price of it on real quick. Flex in the wrist. This is $90. How how much rope you be getting? Let's see. Oh wait, it shows it comes with a pretty metal piece. Did we get that? <gasps> we did. Well, I don't understand how this is supposed to work now. Oh, you put it over. You literally just put it over the knot. So it makes it look not oh. It already came undone. Cut me off a piece. Yeah, because I don't really like the scent. Maybe a little longer, so you have room to tie it. You don't like the scent? Not really. I do. I think it smells good. This is the one we got. I don't know. I'll link the one we got below. Oh my god, why is it kind of hard to cut? There we go. Yeah. Okay, tie it on. I just think that it's a gimmick a little bit. I, I really do think it's a gimmick. I don't think this is worth $90. I it ain't spend, worth $90. I want to spend $90. I would rather have a, a full-size fragrance for $90. Yeah. And then you have to put this thing. It's going to be hard to get on. Go underneath it and try to, yeah, or whatever. There's a metal piece to hide the knot. <sighs> I mean, you can definitely make it prettier. I was tell you this, trying, but this, it's not worth it. You only wear it on your wrist. I mean, unless you want to make a necklace out of it And you have to well. make a new one every single day and like tie it all on like mm. this. It's cuter with the metal piece, but it looks odd to me. It's if it wasn't favorite. $90, I probably would be giving it a little bit of a better review. But yeah, just, but it's the fact that it is. So it, this fragrance, by the way, the brand is like really bougie and expensive. So mm. that's probably why it costs so much, but I just don't think that this is 
the worst. most practical and i'm gonna tell you this right now the smell is so faint like can you smell it right now with me talking no i, I can't even smell i can't smell it i literally can't i can smell barely it. smell my own wrist i can only smell it if i'm right up on it and i don't like that i don't like to ever overpower a room but at least but just like if, if i did this close, if i did this i want you, you to smell, smell it, it. I want you, you can't to... smell anything no like if i was like Shah! i want you to smell it right so overall i don't really recommend this i definitely don't recommend guys it's cute just it's cute but kind of gimmicky very gimmicky just go it's better just buy a perfume mm-hmm or scent bird. Or scent bird. You know what? I think I'm about to go try out scent bird after this video. You, use your code. She loves fragrances. I do. You better use the code though. You send money. Yeah. Uh -huh. Use your code. Okay guys. And we have one final product we want to try out. And that is a spin mop. It's supposed to be just really easy. You're supposed to dip it in some water. Press it in the spinner. And be able to mop. We're going to try that in the kitchen. We'll show it out in the kitchen. Yeah. So, We're going to be cleaning. I love it. I can't wait. If this spin mop works out. I'm going to be really excited. Girl. She's going to be mopping everywhere. Hey. Even the ceilings. All the time. <laughs> Ty is gonna try out the mop now. So he set it up. Did it come put together? Like what? It... Uh, yeah. I mean, I just had to put this together. That oh, that's mop. it. Yeah. All right, guys. The rest was set up. So first, you dunk it in the water. Wait. I don't think I put enough water in. Yeah. But it's okay. It'll get wet. Okay. Yeah. I see it's getting. It's like a fill line. So you'll want to fill it all the way up, and then it has this spin system. I feel like I've seen this on an info commercial before, but I've never For tried sure. it myself. For some slap chop shit. All right, yeah, she's really wet. So now he's gonna put it in. I'm scared it's gonna splash. No, wait, you have to manually do it? No, you're supposed yeah. to press down and it does it for <gasps> you. Does it? Yes. Tell me why I didn't know that. What the heck, why? Whoa. Ty, really? What's happening? Did you feel it do going? You have to undo this? I did feel it going. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, now I understand. Uh, you pump it. Pump it. Oh, you pump oh it. it's going now, yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Okay, shall we try to mop? Should we? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. Oh, I feel like we wrung it out too much. Maybe a little bit, but I think you might need to do that down when you're actually mopping. This is really cool. The mop head's a little. The mop head sucks. <laughs> it's a little sucky. Let's be real. The mop head sucks because the metal oh, part be screwed. That's better. Okay. That's better. We okay. suck. We, we suck. It was us. It we was the suck. user. Not the mop. It's not that bad. It's kind of small for a mop head, but it works. I want to twist it. I want to do this Get again. it wet again and then. <laughs> Can't lock on. There it goes. All right. You know what? We we're having some technical difficulties. We apologize. There it goes. Oh look, you can even twist it in there. In there. Wow. I feel like this is very convenient. Okay. Ready? I'm not gonna do it as much this time. Yeah. Probably twice. All right, now. Oh, he's going three. He's going three times. All right, here we go. Woo! Woo! Okay, and then you the just gotta back. make sure to like Wait, get lock, it at a lock the thing. And then you get this part at an angle. And then oh, you and there you go. See, it took oh, some yeah. trial and error. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dang, this is pretty right. nice. Aaron, do, do the, the rest of the house. Look at Lou. I He's swear like, to God. Oh, I don't care what you guys are doing. Okay, it's I kind of cool. love it. What do you rate it? I'm going ten out of ten. Really? I want to say nine out of ten. Wow, I'm giving it a nine, nine out of ten because I want the mop to be bigger and I me, also don't know how too. you get to clean the mop head. How do you clean the mop head? Like this. No, no, no. Like this a thing go in the wash machine? Yeah, they come off. Oh. And it gives you five replacements. Oh my god, it gets oh, a nice. ten out of ten. So it's ten out of ten. Woo it would be nice if it was a little bigger. Yeah, but it's pretty darn good. This all is right. so just cool. I'm just gonna do this all day. It's like churning butter. Because you've churned butter before. Of course I have. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Be sure and check out Scentbird. Don't forget to use my discount code, Laura Lee. And I'll also have a do link it. down below. So you can get $11 for your first month. I mean, $11. come on. $11. It's a good deal. Use that brain. <laughs> we love you guys. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.